were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And the other represents you, Shannon, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As you now pour these containers of sand together into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. Corey and Shannon, if there is anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, may it be the love that brought you here today. It is only love which can make it a glorious union, and by love which your marriage shall endure. Today, your separate lives with your individual memories, desires, and hopes merge into one. You are now taking into your care and trust the happiness of the one person in the entire world whom you love above all others. You are the companionship and blessing of a deep trust as well. You are agreeing to share strength, responsibilities, and to share love. May you be a blessing and comfort to each other, sharers of each other's dreams, consolers of each other's sorrows, helpers whenever with whenever there are life challenges. May you encourage each other in whatever you set out to achieve. May you trust each other, trust life and be unafraid. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring and may life grant you patience, tolerance and understanding. Now, because you have chosen one another and vowed to love each other in marriage, it gives me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. And Corey, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, loved ones, it gives me great pleasure that I now introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Corey Hayes. like to walk up to a whole bunch of bubbles for their photographer to get. So get those bubbles going. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit of a 